Liam, first of all, welcome to Stoke City. How does it feel to be here? Yeah, absolutely amazing. Um, I'm so happy to be here. You know, it's an amazing project, an amazing club, and it was a brilliant move for myself. It was a move that was announced late last night. Is it something you'd heard about earlier than that, or did it come quite late on? Um, I knew there was a little bit of interest, but there was a few things that needed to fall into place. And then yesterday evening, things really sped, sped up. Um, it's been a bit of a whirlwind, 24, 48 hours, but I'm glad it's over the line. I think you've had quite a journey to get here as well, because you've recently been playing for Jamaica. Yeah, I went across to Jamaica, uh, had a home game, then we moved across to Panama. And the day before the Panama game, I got the call to say, you know, it's looking likely. Um, so I had to go Panama to Miami, got delayed in Miami for five hours, uh, back into London Heathrow yesterday about 12.30, 1 o'clock, back home, which is Leicester for me, and then Leicester across last night to, to Stoke. Was it a pretty easy decision to make, though, when you learned of the interest? Yeah, absolutely. I know a lot of people say that when they get a move, but... Honestly, I feel like this is a great step for me. Um, it's a big football club and a great chance for me. You're on loan until the end of this season, but did you view it as an opportunity to try and earn a permanent move here? Yeah, the manager said not to see it as a trial, um, but just to do what I do. Um, but for me personally, walking through the door, seeing the training ground, you know, meeting the lads, this is something I'd like to make more long term. Um, and it's down to me to, to make the club want that to happen. You've already played and scored against the club this season, so you already have an understanding of the quality within the dressing room. Yeah, um, the quality is very high. I expect the standard to be very high as well. Um, there's, there's a clear aim and buzz around the place where we want to get to the end of the season. I'm just delighted to be part of that. It's your first day here at the club. How have you found things? Really good, yeah. Um, probably the second half of my medical in terms of them getting a baseline of where my muscle strength is, uh, my fitness, etc. So I completed that today and I hope to join up with the boys um, as soon as possible. In terms of your fitness, where are you at? Because I know you haven't played recently for, for Reading, but like we mentioned, you have played for Jamaica recently. Yeah, I got 45 minutes um, about five days ago. Felt pretty good in that. It's just a case now of building over the next few days. Hopefully be available at the weekend. If not, then uh, the game after for sure. In terms of your qualities, what will you bring to the side? I just want to bring leadership. Um, I enjoy defending. You know, it's, it's a club that's looking to get to the same place I've always wanted to get to myself. So those kind of things brought together, um, I think it'll be a good fit. And the fact that you know the championship inside out, do you feel as though that'll help the transition coming here? Definitely. Um, you know, a lot of the lads I know from playing against them, from being in the championship, um, and also the teams that we're facing, nothing should be too new. It's just about getting the ideas of the manager and the rest of the team as quick as possible, and I hope to fit in very fast. I suppose you're just looking forward to that first game and playing in front of the Stoke City supports for the first time. That's it. Um, I've got like a, a buzz again, um, a real good feeling inside. You know, it's, it's nice to come to a big club and to have something to aim for. Um, so, yeah, I feel like a kid again, but I'm excited to get started.